using the data we received from the Remnant City. It's... a lot. Pathfinder, thought you might be callow. I asked him for nav data. Data for what? Mapping the Scourge. Now we know it's a weapon, I hate it more. Designed to isolate, lingers well after the war. I know what that is, it's a minefield. They're vile, because it's not just about watching your step. They make normal life impossible. You get it. The long-term point is to hobble the way the whole population lives. Mark this. The Ket are bad, but whoever deployed the Scourge, they're some motherfuckers. Every time we fight an exalted Krogan, I think about how that could be me. I'd want you to kill me. We can talk more later. Sure. Hello, Ryder. Have you come to see if I'm finally broken? To see what discovering that my people were invented has done to me? This is huge. I'd be flipping tables. Hmm. Nope. Not upset. What? You normally let your emotions fly. True. Angara are usually very free with our feelings. Not talking about all Angara. I'm talking about you. I'm... numb. I'm... in awe. There's a peace in knowing that, though the universe is beyond your understanding, it doesn't need your understanding to function. That you may even have a... hidden destiny. Doesn't matter. Your people aren't shackled to this new discovery. I agree. We don't owe anything to the Jardin. Our destiny is our own. I'm not broken, Ryder. I'm excited. The Angara were created for a purpose. We were given vaults and golden worlds. All these advanced tools. And there is nothing the Ket can do about it. The future holds more for the Angara than a never-ending war on the Ket. Much more. Those bony bastards will put up a fight. <laughs> Let them. It doesn't matter if we were created by a god, reborn from our ancestors, or exist as the dream of an AI superpower. This discovery changes nothing, except ourselves. And that's... Everything. So my buddy Jill, who, by the way, can't stop singing your praises, wants to have a baby. And, uh, stop me if you've heard this one before, she asked me if I'd father it. Wow, that's huge. Right? What the hell are you going to do? I don't know. I'm still in the freaking out phase. Would it be totally crazy if I said yes? I don't think it's crazy. I mean, we're already family. I get her, she gets me. And we support each other unconditionally. 
Wanting to give someone what they want most in the world is love, Gil. I hear you. And you know I've been thinking about it, Ryder. Becoming a dad. I don't want to just be a donor. Bringing a kid into the world wouldn't be enough for me. I'd want to raise the child with Jill. Sounds like you know what you want. Yeah. It's funny, you can think until you're blue in the face. Sometimes you just gotta trust your gut. I'm very happy for you, Gil. For both of you. Thanks, Ryder. Or should I say, Auntie Pathfinder. You have new email at your terminal, Pathfinder. Pathfinder, you have new email. Extremely quick. Well, we humans get lucky sometimes. I'm glad to have that kind of luck on my flight deck. I'm still trying to make sense of everything we learned at the Remnant City. I can't believe the Angara are... designed. What are the implications? But there's so much we don't know, it's humbling. Well, I came here for mysteries, right? Helios is more and more interesting every minute. Anything you want to talk about before we head back into it? I like it when you flirt. I wouldn't want you to stop. Have I flirted with you? <laughs> Don't worry, Ryder. I'm relentless. It relaxes me. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it.